What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So it's about 2 o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep so I figured I'd put out a, a screencast for you guys. Um, I wanted to take a look at where elementary OS Luna is in its current state of development. For those of you who have followed me for a while you know I'm a huge fan of the project. I think that the elementary team is putting together a ridiculously elegant um, operating system They've designed their own uh, desktop environment shell Pantheon from scratch. They have their own window manager. Um, they've done a lot of work with the, the GTK theme and, and uh, making sure that this is an elegant, uh, aesthetically pleasing operating system. And I'll tell you what it is. It's just, it's so nice. Um, since the last time I used it, they've, they've updated some of these icons. They've up, updated their GTK theme. Um, looks fantastic. Um, you know, I've... I've got this system set up kind of the way I normally do, which is the bottom right-hand corner is an expose overview. The bottom left-hand corner is my workspace overview. And one of the other things I did was if you come into the system settings panel and you select the desktop plug and go to dock, I've installed Jupyter Redux. That's the theme that you see here. Um, right from Cassidy James's DeviantArt. Um, he's the uh, kind of the PR guy for the project. Of course, you can go transparent. You've got the Pantheon theme, the default theme here, matte, and Jupiter Redux. I prefer this particular theme here, but it's really nice that you can actually change the theme here right within the dock um, settings panel. I have it to hide on. Actually, you know what? We're going to do intelligent hide. So yeah, uh, I did that. Um, one of the other things I had to do here is, if we do a quick uname, I updated the kernel to 3.9.0. Um, this is, of course, based on Ubuntu 12.04, so it's using a pretty old kernel. I want to say it was 3.2, um, the 3.2 kernel. So um, I went into the Ubuntu mainline. Come on. Let's go to the website here, mainline kernel archive, and I went into 3.9. I downloaded the appropriate packages for my architecture. I installed uh, the 3.9 kernel. Prior to doing that, however, <clears throat> what I did was I installed my proprietary driver, which is uh, NVIDIA, um, to kind of get the latest and greatest NVIDIA driver. Um, what I did was. I went to these um, Xorg Edgers PPA. Now this is um, kind of a, a, a necessary step if you want to have the latest uh, Xorg. So I installed this particular PPA to uh, give me the latest and greatest uh, Xorg and then I installed the NVIDIA driver and um, yeah so that's what I did there. So I've got the latest NVIDIA driver going, um, which is working great under Ubuntu 12.04. So, you know, I had to update Xorg and I had to update the kernel. Um, so now I'm running the 3.9 kernel. You know, other than that, the packages are a little bit older. Um, I went ahead and installed the GIMP 2.8 PPA, so I have the latest version of GIMP. Um, everything else isn't too bad. I Compiled FFmpeg, X264, libvpx, um, all from source. So I have the latest um, FFmpeg and X264 uh, um, binaries installed on here. So, you know, um, that's all up to date as well. The other thing that I noticed is while I'm doing my screencast, I used to do some really funky things. Um, the screen used to flash blue quite a bit. Um, I think it had something to do with the proprietary video, uh, NVIDIA driver. Um, that's not doing it anymore. It's still kind of doing some weird things when I do screencasting using the Pantheon shell, but all in all, it's not too bad. So again, I have the bottom right-hand corner set up as kind of an expose feature, and then my bottom left-hand corner is my uh, workspace switcher. Very, very slick. Everything's super smooth with the proprietary driver, um, and it works really well. I really hope these guys put out a stable... Um, release. I hope Luna comes out of beta. 
and I hope Luna um, Luna Plus One, I believe, which is going to be the next release, doesn't take so long to uh, to come out. But man, these guys are doing a heck of a job. I'm going to be using Luna for a while. You know, I like to try out different distros, like to give everything kind of its fair chance. But the other thing that I noticed here is <clears throat> Luna and the Window Manager, rather, um, in Luna takes some of the compass um, keyboard bindings so for instance if if you grab the file manager here which happens to be called pantheon files and you go to your keyboard and you press control alt 9 it's going to bring it to the top right hand corner and then 3 1 and 7 so i thought that was pretty cool i didn't realize that uh, it you know had that capability and of course it has the snapping features which again all works very very nicely so you know this is where Luna is right now I didn't really notice too many new um, new things added you know what? let me check on something here okay in terms of the system settings I didn't really notice a whole lot you know here is um, Here's what the uh, kind of about screen looks like there. I didn't notice any, any new options. Everything looks pretty standard. I think they're just kind of squashing bugs right now. Um, but all in all, it's running really well. The two big things for me were, you know, being able to update the kernel and getting my proprietary driver installed uh, correctly. So, you know, all that's done and everything's running really nice. So hopefully, you know, Luna hits the scene quickly um, with a release. And uh, of course, being based on Ubuntu 12.04, I think it's supported till 2000 and I want to say 17 because it's a long term support release. So, you know, um, they'll have the official Ubuntu support for a while, uh, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's looking really nice. No crashes, no freezes. Um, you know, I didn't have to submit any type of bug reports for anything. And it's looking fantastic. So I think I'm going to hang out here for a while. And um, that's it. So just an update on my current install. Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll talk to you later.